How do we calculate the sum of the first n natural or counting numbers? We'll be going over an ingenious solution to this problem in today's Wrath of Math lesson. There's a good chance a lot of you are already familiar with this problem and its solution, but hopefully some of you are not. So what we're talking about in today's lesson is a sum we'll call Sn, the sum of the first n counting numbers, one plus two plus three and so on, all the way up to that last plus n. It would seem that this could be kind of challenging to, comp uh, to calculate. Imagine n is equal to 100. How are you going to find that sum? Plugging the numbers into a calculator, for one, it would be really easy to make a mistake, and for two, it would take quite a while. So we would like a more efficient way to calculate this sum. And I think this is one of the classic results of mathematics. It's a really beautiful solution and a beautifully simple answer. A good place to start when we're trying to solve a general problem like this is to look at a specific example. And that's what we'll do. And, and then we'll see a pattern, we'll see a way to solve the problem, and we'll be able to generalize it. So let's look at S100, the sum of the first 100 counting numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on all the way up to that last plus 100. Now what we'll do, we'll be able to see a pattern by adding S100 to itself. And if we do it in just the right way, we'll be able to see something pretty cool. So let's write this out. Say we add this sum to itself. S100 plus S100. We're going to write this in a special way and, and you know this this might seem like wizardry, it's just something you might stumble upon if you are really giving it your best shot at trying to solve this problem on your own and trying to find a pattern somewhere, uh, any pattern, anywhere to solve the problem. We're going to uh, cut straight to the chase here, seeing what, what the pattern is. So what we'll do is we'll write our first sum of S100, nice and simple, we'll just write that out. 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on, all the way up to plus 100. And then we're adding another sum of S100, but we're going to write it slightly differently. We're going to write this one in the reverse order, going from 100 down. So that's plus 100, plus 99, plus 98, and so on, all the way down to the 100th term, which is plus 1. Now, the order doesn't matter, right, because addition is commutative, so we're allowed to move these numbers around however we please. Writing the sum like this is going to let us see a pattern uh, that's, that's very beautiful and ends up being pretty easy to work with. Let's start adding these terms up. Again, we're, we're sort of messing around with the order here to try to find a pattern. Instead of doing, you know, 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on, up to 100, plus 100, plus 99, down to 1, let's actually add the numbers like this. Adding a number from the first S100 to a number from the second S100. What's this first sum? Well, it's equal to 101. What about the next one? Add this next pair. 99 plus 2, that's 101. Next pair, 98 plus 3, oh my, that's also 101. And you can see every, every sum, every pair of these numbers from the two copies of the sum is going to be 101, all the way down to the last, the last two here. 100 plus 1 is 101. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now we're getting somewhere. So what is this equal to? How many copies of 101 are there? Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 100 total pairs that are adding to 101. So there are 100 copies of 101 being added together, and that is 100 multiplied by 101. How does this relate back to the original sum we wanted? Well, this number is the sum we want plus the sum we want. In other words, it's double the sum we want. This is equal, this is equal to two times that sum, S100. So the original sum, S100, is going to be equal to this number 100 multiplied by 101 divided by 2 because again this is two copies of S100 so we've got to divide it by 2 to get the original sum we want and this is equal to 5050 
So what we see here, this, this what we're hoping might be a general formula we found, the sum of the first 100 counting numbers is 100 times the next number, 101, divided by 2. And indeed, this does suggest the general formula. The sum of the first n counting numbers is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So let's apply this really cool, ingenious trick to a general sum on the first n counting numbers, and let's see how it plays out. Man, I am thirsty, drinking lots of, lots of water. So, we start off with our sum Sn. Then, like we did before, we're going to add another copy of Sn. So we're going to look at Sn plus Sn, which is 2Sn. We're going to write it just like we were doing before. So the first sum, Sn, we write as 1 plus 2 plus 3, and so on, all the way up to plus that nth counting number. And then we also have to add our second copy of Sn, plus n. Again, we're doing this one in descending order. So we write plus n, plus n minus 1, plus n minus 2, and so on, all the way down to 1. Now what is this equal to? Well, we just have to add the pairs. 1 plus n, that's n plus 1, you know, either order, doesn't matter, 1 plus n, n plus 1, doesn't matter to me, doesn't matter to you. All right, next pair, 2 plus n minus 1. What's that? n minus 1 plus 2 is n plus 1. Would you look at that? The pattern is continuing in the general case. The next pair, 3 plus n minus 2, that's also n plus 1, and so the pattern continues all the way down to the last term. n plus 1 is very clearly n plus 1. Okay, pretty sweet. Now, how many copies of these n plus 1s are there? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, da 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 da, n. There's n pairs that are adding to n plus 1. So there are n copies of n plus 1, so this is equal to n times n plus 1. Beautiful. So what's our original sum Sn equal to? Let me switch back to purple. Well, this, as we said earlier with S100, this is double what we want. This is two copies of Sn. So Sn is equal to this, n times n plus 1, divided by 2, because you got to divide out that second copy of the sum. And, I mean, this, <laughs> this is just gorgeous. I could get a shirt with this on it. Look at that or a poster. I mean, it's just a beautiful result. The sum of the first n natural numbers, first n counting numbers, whatever you like to call them, is n times the next counting number, n plus 1, divided by 2. Pretty sweet. Try it yourself. Try, you know, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. You can add it up yourself and then try the formula. It's beautiful. It works. The solution is ingenious. Really cool. What we'll do in the next lesson, or shortly thereafter, is we'll actually prove this formula using mathematical induction, which is a lot of fun, so I hope I'll see you there. So I hope this video helped you understand this ingenious solution to calculating the sum of the first n counting numbers. If you haven't heard the legend about Carl Gauss and this problem, I recommend looking that up, and I might talk about that in another video, but I could drone on about that for too long, so I didn't want to talk about it in this video, but look it up. Carl Gauss, first n counting numbers, you know, something like that. It's pretty cool. Um, anyways, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.